sketch a graph of g of x equals 2 times the quantity x minus 3 squared as a transformation of the graph of f of x equals x squared. Again, we'll start with our original function, f of x equals x squared, and we're going to see how we can turn it in to our new function, g of x equals 2 times x minus 3 squared. Now, the first thing we can do, we know that we need this x that's getting squared to turn into x minus 3. So we can turn this into x minus 3 squared by replacing x with x minus 3. So let's replace x with x minus 3. And we know that this corresponds to a horizontal shift. It's a shift to the right three units. So we shift right three units. Then to go from x minus 3 squared to 2 times the quantity x minus 3 squared, we need to take this function that we have and just multiply it by 2. So we replace our function with two times our function. Now, I'm not going to say replace f of x with two times f of x because this isn't f of x. This is a new function. I could name this function h of x and say replace h of x with two times h of x, but I don't think we need to do that. We can just say we're replacing the function that we have now with two times the function. And we know that when we take a function and multiply it by 2, that corresponds to a vertical stretch of factor 2. So we stretch vertically by a factor of 2. And now these are the transformations that we have to make to go from the graph of f of x equals x squared to g of x equals 2 times the quantity x minus 3 squared. I'm going to very quickly sketch the graph of f of x equals x squared, which we've done now what feels like a million times. We know it is a parabola opening upward that has a vertex at the origin. Now, let's take all of the individual points on this graph and put them through these transformations. First, we need to shift this graph to the right three units. So every point that we have on the graph, starting with the origin, needs to be shifted to the right three units. So the origin is going to move to the point 3, 0. And then 1, 1 is going to move to the right three units to 4, 1. And then 2, 4 is going to move to the right 3 units to 5, 4. And 3, 9 will move to the right 3 units to 6, 9. And then we can also move these three points on the left-hand side. We can shift each of those to the right 3 units. And when we do that, that leaves us with this point, and then this point, and then this point. All right, now that we've done our first transformation, shifting to the right three units, we can stretch everything vertically by a factor of two. What that means is for each point on this intermediate graph, we need to double its y-coordinate. We need to make it move twice as far from the x-axis than it started. So this point right here is at a height of four, if we double that, it's going to end up at a height of 8. This point right here is at a height of 1. If we double that, it's going to be at a height of 2. This point right here is going to stay right where it is because its y-coordinate is 0, and 2 times 0 is still 0. When we're stretching vertically, anything that starts on the x-axis is going to stay right where it is. Now this point, when we double its y-coordinate, it's going to be 2, stretching it vertically. 
This point goes from a y coordinate of four all the way up, oops, to eight. So that should be right about here. And these two points that are up high, if we double their y coordinates, those are going all the way up to 18, which is not on the part of the xy plane that we have here. So we're not going to worry about those. And instead, we're just going to draw a parabola that goes through the points that we have drawn. And this is our graph of g of x equals 2 times the quantity x minus 3 squared.